hello there. So this could be a bad call on my part, but I found this 300 question personality test. This is like the big five, just goes way more in depth. And at the end of it, you get a very in-depth analysis. And thought like, yeah, let's just make a video about this. And uh, this kind of allows me to just uh, vocalize my thoughts. And maybe you guys can just uh, pitch in or maybe just uh, do the same test as me. <clears throat> what is my gender? I got a penis, I guess. So let's go. How old am I? Uh, I'm a 12 year old uh, man who's uh, Asian, and uh, did, did some college, maybe, and, uh, well, videoed, obviously, and uh, su super gay, uh, what else? I'm a Buddhist, and what? Oh, I, I, can be, I can be all this. Holy shit, I'm all that. What else? Where did I grow up? I grew up in Andorra, and then I moved to uh, Afghanistan. How do I see myself? All right, we finally get the question. I, I really hope that the information really helped them. <clears throat> I hope they eat too much. Well, I'm I'm not fat, so not not really, right? I mean, I mean, I have a history uh, of getting maybe a little bit fatter than than uh, <laughs> that I should be, but not 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 as much. I plunge into tasks with all my heart. Uh, well, it depends on whether you like the task, but yeah, I mean, generally, yes. <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty into this video. <clears throat> I believe that people are basically moral. I agree with that. Now, that's an excellent question, because for humanity, everyone needs to be basically, well, well most people need to be good, because it, in order for our species to keep going, we need to be uh, kind, because we need to take care of children, we need to pass on knowledge, and if we don't take care of children, then we die out, so... I, I agree that we are basically moral. <clears throat> I like music. I agree. I, I like music. I express childlike joy. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't call it childlike because <laughs> it's just, it's just like calling me immature. But <clears throat> I mean, I, I think just losing your, your joy and passion is one of the biggest mistakes you can make. I put people under pressure. <sighs> I don't think that's the case. Hold the grudge. Uh, strongly disagree with that. I, I don't see the point in grudges at all. I have a sharp tongue. I uh, don't think so. That is the case. If anything, I just like to inspire people. Maybe like uh, just get them excited and uh, just uh, highlight some opinion. Uh, I mean, uh, just opportunities. I l I love a good fight. Um, I prefer cooperation. I mean, that kind of sound makes me sound like a pussy. But um, I mean, what kind of fight are we talking about here? I mean, a, a, a friendly fight, I, I, I guess, maybe. I mean, I like challenges, but I mean, that's not necessarily a fight. So I would say that's not necessarily the case. I really enjoy it. I don't know about that, because sometimes you might just find me and like walk around like a zombie. But if I'm on, then I'm, I'm really on. So that's kind of hard to say. Uh, so I would, I'm, I'm, not, I'm kind of neutral about this. Avoid philosophical discussions. No, I'm one of those annoying people who will probably turn everything philosophical. So uh, that's a strongly disagree there, buddy. I enjoy being part of a loud crowd. <sighs> and not so much. I, I, I kind of like deeper interactions and uh, crowds uh, don't necessarily provide that. Uh, also, I don't really like loud that much. So I, that's probably a, a no. I mean, kind of depends on how big this crowd is. I mean, I, I can deal with a small group, but like if it's just like <clears throat> a concert and I'm just shouting and uh, yeah, that, 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 that's probably I wouldn't like that. I'm not sure if that's a strongly disagree, but uh, that's kind of strong. Well, let's go with disagree. Avoid mistakes. You can avoid mistakes. You can only do your best at any given uh, time. So uh, you, you can't avoid mistakes. Uh, Avoiding, trying to avoid mistakes is just hesitation. Uh, you're just uh, trying to act careful. I mean, which is fine. Like, uh, but you you take your time to make a plan of attack, then then you do the plan of attack. So strongly disagree there. I do not like poetry. Um, well, I would have said yes, uh, but I mean, generally yes. I, I do not seek out poetry. I don't really uh, much care for it. But I did. Uh, did listen to poetry uh, that I did like. So, I mean, can I say that I don't like poetry just because I, I don't really usually seek it out? So, poetry would be not, like, in the top 20 things that I like, but if I if I hear a good poem, I was like, oh, yeah, that was cool. So, I don't know. I mean, do I still like poetry? So, I would say disagree. 
do not like poetry. I mean, I could like poetry. I mean, just kind of can be made. Uh, the argument can be made that I do. I like anime. I, I watch like I don't know, like half a dozen anime, and I and I like those. So, do I like anime? Just because I didn't watch like hundreds of anime, like some people. So I would say that's a disagree there. I do not like poetry. Uh, disagree. I'm afraid that I will do the wrong thing. Uh, you can't do the wrong thing. You can only do uh, the, the best you can at any given time. That's a pretty deterministic way of looking at things, but this is just how it goes. Because if you try to do a mistake, that is just completely impossible. You only do your best at any given time, and that's kind of arrogance and ego. Like, talking like, oh yeah, I ma made a mistake, but you didn't really make a mistake. Uh, just give me a second. And I had to uh, look into my notes uh, about uh, this issue that I wrote down, just to uh, find the right words. And uh, that is just all feedback. So you do one thing, and like, let's just say uh, you try to win the lottery, and that is just silly, whatever. You don't win the lottery, you say like, oh my god, I made a mistake. But that was, that was you didn't make a mistake. Sometimes, you know, like, just no, no good way to do, do one thing. But, I mean, some... Other times, there is a good way to do, and you just got feedback. So that, that's it. You didn't make a mistake, so uh, I'm not really afraid that I do the wrong thing. And also, being present helps a lot, so I strongly disagree there, clearly. <laughs> I do the opposite of what is asked. I don't like to be uh, bossed around, but that's pretty much uh, true of everyone, I think. Although some do take comfort in, uh, in um, fixed things and uh, just some... <laughs> Uh, I don't know. I, I, that's just weird to me. I'm like, fuck, no. I'll, 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 I'll be the rebel. I, I'm just 100% rebel here. But I wouldn't necessarily do the opposite of what is asked. I would just uh, just not do what is asked. So that is not true for me. So uh, I kind of disagree there. Because uh, then, then you're affected by what is asked. So I would be the kind of guy that, you know, that shit makes no sense to me. I'll just not do it. So... This is just uh, petty and stupid. It's like, oh no, I'm I'm gonna do the opposite just to spite you, and or like, oh, I'll show you. It's like, no, this this just means you're uh, even dumber than <laughs> than what was the task that you didn't do. So disagree. I use others for my own ends. Uh, I, I that makes me very uncomfortable. So strongly disagree. I seek to influence others. Uh, yeah, that, that kind of annoys me that I I do want to influence others. Uh, but uh, that is true. I I do seek to influence others a little bit. If, if I think that you know there is something, uh, some better way to know, or uh, <laughs> that seems a little arrogant. But like you know, I I want to teach others, or maybe just make them happy. Like just like oh man, like I, I seek to influence them. I I don't want to just turn them into my vision necessarily, but like maybe like at, at least uh, try to. Uh, help them uh, reach theirs, right? So, okay. So, I'm gonna go with agree there. I mean, maybe strongly agree. Fuck. That, but it does, it does make me a little uncomfortable. I hate to seem pushy. Um, yeah. I mean, I, I don't necessarily want to be pushy, yeah. I have difficulty understanding abstract ideas. Uh, no, they, they are my crack, so strongly disagree. I postpone decisions. Um, I mean, I used to, but the thing is, I like to just keep make, keep decisions fluid as possible. So, like, you make decision right now. So, I mean, I have no problem with uh, making a decision, but like, just just be, just have the option to, to change it, right? I make mean, I make a decision and I'm not lo locked into it. Once I have that mindset that you know I can make decisions without being locked into it, it's like fuck yeah, let's go. I can make decisions all day long. So strongly disagree. I can't stand weak people. Um, no. Don't really disagree. I mean, how would we even define weak people? Weak in what way? People are amazing in their ways. I mean, it, one of the most arrogant things you can do is try to measure people to your strengths. And that way, it's easy to feel superior. Uh, but, uh, I, I don't know. I, but I suppose there are weak people who are just... Uh, uh, Whatever, but like, I'm I'm not a judgmental person in in the least. I think society should just uh, hold hands, kumbaya. And we should just all make sure that we all live a decent life. I tend to dislike soft-hearted people. I don't dislike them, but might find that hard hard to relate them super hard. 
I'm more like a thinker guy. I dislike talking about myself. Ooh, that's a good question. <laughs> Is they're making a video? Uh, that's a good question. I don't like talking about myself because I think I'm I'm kind of boring. So I, I think just talking about people can be boring. So and also I don't necessarily like to be judged. I, I'm not a judgmental person. And if people start judging me, I'm like, oh man, like maybe I don't even give a shit about it, but I definitely uh, prefer not to be judged. So I dislike talking about myself is, uh, I don't know. I, I don't mind talking about myself at all, though. So. Truly, I don't. But I, I think there are usually uh, more interesting things uh, than myself. So let's go with disagree here. I yell at people. I never do that. I feel desperate, I, uh, though. I believe in the importance of art. Why not? I mean, art is important. I mean, why not? Let's go with strongly agree. I experience very few emotional highs and lows. Uh, I mean, I, I tend to not experience lows that much. So I think that is pretty correct. Uh, let's go with, uh, I'm, I don't know. I mean, I think the very few. I mean, let's go with strongly agree. I I I, I get happy. I mean, I, I get very happy. So I guess uh, that that seems a, a high. But like lows, I don't know. I kind of actively uh, make sure that that doesn't really happen. I don't know. This this is a good question. I don't know. It, it does seem like people get more emotional than me. I seldom toot my own horn. I don't like that. Uh, strongly agree. If anything, I'm more likely to uh, bury myself. Especially if others just put me on a pedestal. Like, no, I suck. Please. I insult people. Uh, no. I can't stand confrontations. I can... I, no, I mean, I don't like it because then people are emotional. They're just uh, arguing from their ego. So it's like, oh, I, I just try to uh, be peaceful and, you know, Try to come to a decent solution. Uh, let's have a discussion, a reasonable discussion, uh, driven by logic. So I don't like, I mean, I can tolerate confrontations, but I don't like it. So I, I, I rather say agree. I believe that others have good intentions. Uh, generally, yes. Although I do question their competence. I do things according to the plan. Uh, well, I'm more free flowing when it comes to uh, a plan. But, uh, usually no. I mean, I didn't make a, a plan about this video. <laughs> so, uh, uh, let's go disagree. Uh, fuck, I don't know. I mean, sometimes I do things according to the plan. Other times, I mean, fuck, I do things according to the plan. But my plan is more flexible. So, yes. I stumble over my words. I mean, do, at times I, I do improvise. I stumble over my words. Uh, yeah, I, I guess I do that sometimes. I mean, <laughs> you guys uh, will realize that this video is not exactly scripted, and none of my videos were scripted up to this point. <laughs> I, I don't think I even have had an outline for uh, even one of my videos. I have vivid imagination, I, I guess. I'm afraid of my own things, but, like, what is my uh, comparison here? Like, I, I was never someone else. I'm afraid of many things. Uh, no? I often feel uh, uncomfortable around others. Uh, no. Um, no. I mean, afraid of many things. The thing is, if you're present and you're just like, so, uh, just thinking, b busy thinking and solving problems, then, I mean, you don't really have uh, uh, the mental capacity to even, like, uh, entertain uh, fear. It's just like, oh, yeah, I'm in the present, just doing things, like, that's okay. I often feel uncomfortable around others. I mean, you get uncomfortable around others if you're, like, worrying about what they think of you instead of, like, you know, but you can realize that, oh, they think of me higher or <laughs> they consider me a cooler person if I'm actually putting my effort into being a cooler person. So how you do that is by being present in the moment and you're just uh, doing your best, right? And you can't ever do better than your best. So at that point... And you cannot really uh, beat yourself up for not being better than your best, although you can get better than your best. So, I mean, it just makes no sense. So, strongly disagree there. I Wait. Yeah, that, that's, that's right. I can handle a lot of information. Um, well, are we talking about... I, I, I guess I can. 
although my working memory might be uh, more limited than some people's, uh, that's why I like to write things down. I dislike new foods. I don't dislike them, but I usually don't try them. I, I mostly uh, eat food uh, just to be healthy and uh, not really for the experience. So I don't dislike it. I'm not interested in abstract ideas. Uh, strongly disagree. I enjoy thinking about things. <laughs> How big is that? <laughs> like, no. No, I don't like that. We do brain. Okay, so I, I guess that's an agree. I feel comfortable around other people. Uh, generally, yes. They can make me uncomfortable, but I do feel comfortable around people. I experience my emotions intensely. Um, I mean, I have no basis for comparison here. So I was never someone else. So compared to other people, they can lose their cool. Uh, I mean, I, I can get pretty excited. So yes, but I, I, I'm not very, uh, I'm not a very negative person. Usually I love order and regularity. I do have some order. But I wouldn't say I love order. I think generally I prefer order over not having order. But I can be a little chaotic. So I wouldn't say I love order and regularity. Do I love order? Fuck. I mean, I, I, I a little bit prefer it. Although I would have said, like, fuck order. Let's burn it to hell uh, when I was younger. Uh, but as you, as you get older, I, I suppose, you're just like, oh, yeah, I, I guess it makes sense to do things uh, in a sensible way. and. Um, but still remain flexible, so let's go with agree. I feel comfortable with myself, sure. I believe that people should fend for themselves. Oh no. I mean that that's a, a pretty terrible way <laughs> for society. It's like that means I, I can just fuck over anyone. That that's that's pretty bad. Especially if you're one of, of the more gifted people in society. I mean anyway, like maybe physically or or mentally, whatever, then you're like, oh yeah, I'll just take advantage of others. I get back at others. Uh, no. I don't see the point in that. I mean, the thing is, uh... uh give me a sec. Hmm. The thing is, like, you... Taking vengeance doesn't really help you, and the thing is, like, uh... Thoughts of retribution is like, like, drinking poison and expecting the other person to die, and, like, holding a grudge is just really unhealthy for you. So, generally, the best thing you can do is just to get away. I know it doesn't seem very, uh... Uh powerful to just get away from the problem but like if you're on fire the best thing you can do is just get the fuck out of the fire then treat the treat the burn and leave the fucking fire because people are a little bit like that think, uh, keep in mind that I, I my thinking is pretty deterministic so uh, I could see people as a force of nature uh, like a literal force of nature so yeah I mean I don't see the point in getting back at others uh, I mean, I could, I could definitely like say like, yeah, if I'm getting hurt right now, then yeah. Uh, but that's not really getting back at them. Like, let's just say that like, the thing that already happened, and they wronged you. And uh, no, 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 I strongly disagree with that. Uh, that that's actually ca can be a a very easy way to abuse me, and uh, and uh, I don't, I don't like that. <laughs> I go straight for the goal. Um, no. I think is my definition of the goal usually changes quite a bit, so... I mean, I might... I mean, I don't go straight for the goal. I usually, like, <laughs> have detours. I feel sympathy for those who are worse off than myself, I, I, I guess. I guess... Well, maybe not... And Well, I, it didn't really... Uh, specifically say that intense sympathy, but I do feel sympathy. I get others to do my duties. Ooh, I, I prefer to do all, all the things. That, 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 that's a problem in itself, because if you do everything, then maybe you get very capable, but also uh, you just end up uh, uh, wasting a lot of time uh, getting good at a bunch of things. I set high standards for myself and, and others. I don't like to set high standards for others. But I do tend to set high standards for myself. And this is actually uh, uh, can be a problem that you have different standards for yourself. It's like you just see yourself as like the fucking, well, not, not as, a, as an arrogant way, but you have such a high standards for yourself. Like, oh, yeah, I'll just work 14 hours a day. And others are like, oh, yeah, that, that's cool. You, you're doing your best, man. But, but you have a different uh, standards for yourself. And uh, that, that can be a bit tricky. So I, I try not to push my standards 
or my my thinking onto others and others. So I mean, thing is, putting it together is kind of messy. And others. So I would say I disagree. I can manage many things at the same time. I try to not manage them at the same time, but I guess maybe. But like one after another, I feel that my life lacks direction. I mean, life is uh, meaningless and has no purpose, but you can still have some direction for your life. So, uh, disagree? I do just enough work to get by. Um, I mean, this is not a good question. I mean, I'm, I'm un under the fucking philosophy that, you know, just make enough money, then do what is important to you. So... I guess that is true. But if we uh, d define work as like calling or whatever that is important to you, not just like uh, distractions, then uh, that's, that's, that's super disagree because I would like, okay, let, let's just uh, work all the time, right? So I would just go strongly disagree. I like to solve complex problems. Oh, that's, that's hard because to an extent, yes, but also I'm, I don't really like, uh, like, very dry math. I mean, I could use math as a tool. It's like, it's really nice to have as a tool to solve problems, but if it's just like, like, really dry math is like, ah, oh, please, I read enough. I like to solve complex problems is kind of true. Let's go with the greed there. I find it difficult to approach others. Um, not really. I mean, you just don't load up on the expectations. You just say, hi, what's up? I do things. I later regret. I don't engage in regret. Strongly disagree. I look at the bright side of life. Um, that's the only side. <laughs> oh, man. I would need to define the question here. Like, look at the bright side of life. How the fuck does... No. The thing is, if you look at the news, they're basically just uh, triggering your, your amygdala all the time. It's like, fear, death, fear, death, important fear and death. People are stupid. And uh, yeah, I, I definitely uh, uh, look at the bright side of life. Like, hey, what can I do? I never splurge. Um, that's usually true. I mean, never, <sighs> fuck, man, never. Never splurge? No, I, my, my purchases are pretty uh, deliberate. I prefer to be alone. Uh, that is not true. I don't need to be with people, but I don't prefer to be alone. I like to begin new things. Sure. I keep others at a distance. Not necessarily. Disagree. I mean, I might just uh, uh, have some alone time. So disagree. I demand quality. Uh, no, I just work at it, so... Um, maybe... Uh, is this agree? Fuck, I don't know. <laughs> Their wording is so fucked up. I mean, this is like, I demand quality, like, of myself, of other people, like... Well, uh, you can write more than that, just to clarify it, because this is gonna be super vague. So, I don't know. I demand quality. Work... Okay, maybe? I love life? Um, I, I guess. I mean, you might as well love it, right? <laughs> you might as well love it. I mean, we are here, so being sad about it makes no sense. Does it help? No, it doesn't help. So, might as well love life. I can act. I can. Uh, <clears throat> I I act comfortably with others. <sighs> I may come off as weird. I may come off as weird, but I think I'm comfortable. I love to read challenging material. But not in a prideful way, like, oh, look at me, how big is my penis? But, I mean, if it's fun, like, I'll do it. I suspect hidden motives in others. Uh, I wouldn't say I suspect, because at that point, you're, you're just using your imagination to look for hidden motives. But I, if I see hidden motives, no, 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 I don't suspect hidden motives. I actually strongly disagree with that. I, I don't see hidden motives, but... Uh, uh, I, I could, I could, uh, if I see that, uh, maybe, 
I'm good at seeing that, but I don't suspect it. If I see your behavior to be um, contradictory, then it's, then it's not going to add up. And that's why I really prefer if others just honest with me. I mean, I, I do like kindness, but honesty above all. So that's it. I suspect hidden motives in others, so I strongly disagree. I don't worry about things that have already happened. Mm, that is strongly agree. There's no point in that. It doesn't help you at all. I pretend to be concerned for others. Uh, no. Uh, that, that is just uh, fucking minus 100 for me. I, I don't like pretending. I, I, I just don't see the point in, any, in anything, in anything uh, but myself. Being anything but myself. I find it difficult to get down to work. Um, I would have said yes to this a little bit some time ago, but uh, this is not true. I mean, sometimes you just, you just got to make sure that uh, when you're planning, you're not a tyrant and how you're executing, uh, you're not being a tyrant as well. Sometimes you're just tired. Sometimes you have a headache. So it's like, oh, okay, cool. Like we can't do this or maybe you're just uh, not into it. So, I mean, I would say maybe, I don't know, I don't really find it that difficult to get down to work. So, uh, just just make sure that you the 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 main way you find it difficult to get down to work is that your planning self is a fucking tyrant. It's like I just planned these all these things that you hate, and like no, and you just fucking rebel against yourself. But if you make decent plans or you just uh, uh, proceed uh, fr fairly uh, freely, then yeah, it, it's not really hard. Like, <laughs> so disagree. I rarely get irritated. Um, that's true. I don't see the point in that. I can't make up my mind. I mean, I, I like to keep up, keep an open mind. So at this point, this is a pretty bad question. Um, but I can make up my mind. So there you have it. But I like to change my mind. I don't know why I do some of the things I do. I mean, that is true of every uh, person. So. <laughs> but uh, generally, I, I think compared to most people, I'm pretty deliberate. <laughs> I will know why the, why I do the things. So that is just. I, I guess I'm gonna go with agree. I waste my time. Everyone wastes their time to some extent. This is a uh, pretty uh, all or nothing here. But I'm, do I waste my all time? All my time? So fuck. <laughs> I waste my time doing this fucking test. <laughs> Oh man, uh, yeah, I, I guess, yeah, I guess, I, I guess we some time. So right, let's go with disagree. I'm not easily embarrassed. Um, yes, I seek danger. No, I don't seek danger. I, I, I think seeking uh, unnecessarily uh, uh, threats is just just dumb as fuck. I mean, you shouldn't be too, you shouldn't be afraid to take risks, but, uh. Taking unnecessary risks just to feed your ego uh, is just no good. I'm not interested in other people's problems. I'm interested in other people's problems, but I mean, only if they are the other people's problems are interesting. <laughs> so let's go with the great. I believe that criminals should receive help rather than punishment. I agree with that. I mean, maybe not strongly agree with that. I mean, I don't really believe in punishment, but I mean, some people are obviously uh, are really hard to convert uh, back to uh, uh, good people, I, I, I guess. So at that point, I would say that uh, criminals were uh, wronged so much by society that they just turned criminal, they were ignored, and they didn't get the help. And at that point, they are already in jail. So, uh, so let's go with just agree here. Break rules. I usually don't care about rules, so. I guess that's true. I indulge in my fantasies. Um, the fuck does this mean? I, I guess yes. Maybe. Um, usually I try not to fantasize too much. Uh, just... So, I don't know. Do I indulge on... No, I, I don't know. Fuck. Fuck? What is this? How do you indulge in your fantasies? Uh, let's look at the definition. Um, I guess I, I can... Okay, whatever. I start tasks right away. Uh, I usually have a plan of attack first. I'm not bothered by difficult uh, social situations. Uh, example? Uh, 
what what is this difficult social situation uh looks like but kind of uh, i guess i mean it's a good challenge so <laughs> that's a good way to uh have fun with it i know the answers to many questions oh that's super arrogant oh boy mr know it all but ah uh, i guess i i know some answers i have a lot of fun uh sure why not I try not to think about the needy. Uh, that is true. That is true. Because I don't want to just be sad about that. <laughs> which which kind of makes me sound like a bad person, but... But that's why I don't watch the news either, because, like, uh... I, I just get sad about it, so... A little bit? I mean, I, maybe I occasionally think about it, but, like, yes. I take control of things. Uh, yeah. Sometimes I need to control a little bit less. I guess, so let's go with degree. I'm hard to get to know. I don't know. I'm like, how, how would I know this? Um, <laughs> uh, fuck. I don't know. Am, am I hard to get to know? Uh, I don't know this. I'm, I'm, I, I don't know if I'm hard to get to know. I think people j may, may just assume that uh, I'm, I'm more complex than I seem. Uh, which might be true, but I... I I like to keep it simple, so there you go. So, and I, I just have no problems sharing, I guess. So, fuck, I don't know. <laughs> I think I'm hard to get to know because the way I think can be uh, a little unusual, and people might find it uh, hard to think the way I think. Which I'm not saying what I'm think is superior anyway. Just, uh, um, I don't know. I feel a little bit neutral about this. I don't know. I'm feeling neutral here. I laugh out loud. Um, yeah, why not? I love to eat. Um, maybe not as much as others. I believe that too much tax money goes to the support to support artists. Is, is any tax money going to support the artists? <laughs> I don't know. I feel neutral about this. Uh, I work hard. I don't know. <laughs> you do. The thing is, whatever you're doing is is basically normal. So I don't know. Disagree? Do I work hard? Um, pff, fuck me. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know this. Do I work hard? I mean, yeah. I mean, if I, if I'm in it, then I basically work all day. But if I'm not not in, then I, I, I don't work all day, so let's go with agree. I, I do not enjoy going to art museums. That is true. Uh, that is not stimulating enough. I mean, I like art, but not uh, solely by, well, not by itself. I dislike changes. I think changes are fun. I seldom get emotional. Um, some would agree. Let's go with agree. I prefer to stick. Uh, I'm kind of thinking of negative emotions here. But that's usually true. So, more likely to keep a cool head. I prefer to stick with things that I know. Um, you can really learn with things that you already know. So, uh, disagree. I try to lead others. I actually may have the, the voice in my head to lead others. But I try not to lead others. <laughs> I try not to boss people around. Because I, I hate to be bossed around. So. I mean, if people want to follow me, let them follow me. But I try not to lead them. Unless, like, hey, just help me out. So, disagree. I handle tasks smoothly. What? This is just a, such a non-question. Whatever. Um, yeah, like, I get shit done. I have low opinion of myself. I try not to... I, I don't see the point in that. Does it ever help you to have a low opinion of yourself? No. It does not help you, so strongly disagree. I'm not saying you have to be arrogant, but might as well just be, like, you can be, you know, in the positive. Like, okay, cool, I can do things, right? I can do things, great. And, um, sure. I mean, at, at that point, if you would have a high opinion of yourself, then you'd be narcissistic. I just try not to pass judgment on others and myself that much. Or, well, I just try not to do that. I love to daydream. Um, 
I might do that, I might catch myself doing that, but I don't really love to do it because I, I just like, fuck, I'm wasting time again. So, disagree. I'm able to stand up for myself. I guess? I guess? But although, uh, this kind of comes back to my previous point that I don't think if you have, if you're in a situation where you're in the fire and you shouldn't be punching the fire, you should be like, you know, I'll just go away. So, uh, let's go with strongly agree still. I have frequent mood swings, uh, that is strongly disagree. I rarely overindulge. Mm. Rarely? Well, let's go with that. I have difficulties starting tasks. Uh, nothing else. If you have a difficulty starting tasks, then uh, well, you might be uh, <laughs> your dopamine might be fucked, and you're like you're just like oh, watching videos, 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 plus other social media you might be on. But most of all, if you have difficulty starting tasks, then you're most likely fearful. You're fearful of future possibilities. Uh, that's where uh, being present really helps. So instead of like uh, thinking of like um. Well, how it's gonna turn out, uh, you know, just, you just do things, right? You know, just do your fucking best. And, uh, you know, if it doesn't turn out uh, the best, <laughs> then do it better next time. Great. So, do I have a difficult starting tasks? I don't know, I, I kind of feel like the, the planning is like, is almost slacking off to some extent, but I, I think that's a key part. So, I don't know if I have difficulty starting tasks, so I would just go with slight disagree there. Because as long as the task is something that um, I, I remotely care about, uh, make a priority, or I like, then I'm like, oh, cool, well, we can do that. I carry out my plans. Because the thing is, the more you hesitate starting the task, the more you uh, fuel fear. It's like, uh, imagine just like you have this <laughs> problem on the horizon and you can just walk toward it. Like, kind of like, imagine the fight-or-flight scenario in your head. And the more you entertain uh, fleeing in your head, you're, the more uh, you're pulling apart. Like, oh man, you're fighting yourself, oh, we're not going that way, but like, you can just go uh, in your head, fight, 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 and like, you're already going uh, one way, and like, like, how do I do this? How is the best way to do it? So that's kind of what you want to do. I carry out my plans. Uh, I, I change my plans. <laughs> I change my plans a lot. So, I mean, yeah, generally, yes, I'm passionate about causes. Oh, uh, fuck. What, what causes? No, I, I think mo most causes are fucking stupid. So, I wouldn't say, uh, I mean, my causes, maybe. Uh, I think causes are more like, I don't know. I, it, it seems like more, uh, more social causes. And I think most social causes are fucking stupid. So, I'm a little disagreeing uh, with that. I keep my promises. Um, I try not to make promises, and if I might make a promise, then I probably try to keep it. So, uh, I do do more than what's expected of me. Uh, fuck, this is just a weird question. Okay, so I'm going for a drink. Who's expecting things from me? Society, other people, me. So I think. <sighs> I'm not doing more things that I'm kind of expecting on myself. I try not to have expectations in that regard. So maybe, maybe, maybe a little agree. I use flatter to get ahead. I don't like that. Strongly disagree. I, I don't want to be manipulative. I'm afraid to draw attention to myself. I may not totally enjoy attention, but I'm not afraid to. So strongly disagree. I wait for others to lead the way. Oh yeah, I, I guess some people do that. No, I actually, uh, I'm a little conflicted because I don't like to be lead. I, I don't, I, I don't, I don't like to be led. But I don't necessarily want to lead others in ways uh, they don't sign up for because that's super annoying. So I'm more likely to do my own thing, and if others want to join me, then that's cool. So uh, I don't do that. Strongly disagree. I dislike loud music. Um, generally yes. I mean, no, I. I no, I like like loud music, but like define loud. I mean, concert louds. That that's super loud. That I I dislike that. But listening to uh, music at home at like hundred uh, percent on your headphones or like eighty percent. I mean, I, I could I could deal with that. But if we were talking about speakers, then <laughs> it would be like uh, much lower, like ten percent or so. So do I dislike loud music? I, I guess generally yes. I want to be left alone. 
Uh, no. Disagree. Maybe strongly disagree. I think is if I just do things on my own, then it will make no no sense. Like <laughs> even if I just learn things and I never tell it to anyone, but we just completely lost. So uh, let's go with disagree. I obstruct other's plans. What? What is this question? Uh, there's the, no there's no self interest in it either. This is just purely fucking people over. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Strongly disagree. I get stressed out easily. Uh, no. I keep my cool. Um, uh, yes. I'm easy to satisfy. Yeah, I, I think that's that's a bit of a problem with me that uh my, my needs are super low, and uh I, I think they should be higher, a little bit. So. Um, I don't know why I'm think thinking that, but. I think that is the case. <clears throat> because I'm... At, at times I realize that I may be ignoring uh, some of my needs, or maybe unmet. Because they don't need to be filled, but maybe... maybe Some things... Uh, let's just say, like, there are needs, and there are, like, nice-to-haves, right? And the nice-to-haves for me are, are, are totally optional. <laughs> so, I, I can handle complex problems, sure. I know how to get around rules. I just try to ignore rules. I don't know if I know how to get around rules, but I, I guess I'm not bothered by messy people. Uh, I mean, define messy, but uh, I can deal with some chaos, but I will probably be bothered by uh, a big mess. I can act without thinking. Well, uh, I mean, can't everyone? But I... I Pretty much more likely to uh, to think uh, big time here about uh, the options before I, I ever act. But I can act without thinking, I, I guess. Um, I mean, I'm just going to go with a light degree here. Amuse my friends. I sort of like to uh, uh, think of myself as someone who can amuse people. I love to help others. Um, yeah, I guess. I dislike being the center of attention. Mm, I, don't, I don't dislike it. I think highly of myself. I mean, you might as well think highly of yourself. I mean, this is not really a judgment on other people or a comparison to other people. To just like think like, hey, I'm awesome. I'm a cool guy. Let's go. So why not? I do crazy things. I try not to. I mean, what do we? I mean, this is just so fucking vague. What is crazy things here? Uh, strongly disagree. I mean, I don't necessarily. Okay, well, let's go with disagree. I worry about things. Uh, no point. If you're worrying, then you're just not doing uh, oh, <laughs> the things that you should be doing to eliminate the things you should be worrying about. I seldom joke around. No, I love joking around. I make myself the center of attention. Not necessarily. If I think uh, if you met me one-on-one, -on -one, you would probably just uh, uh, see me as some kind of interrogator. I would interrogate you. So I would be most their listener. So I don't necessarily make myself the center of attention. But I, I can just talk all day, so... I seldom get lost in thought. <laughs> oh shit, man! Oh, I strongly disagree. I mean, I can get lost in thought. <laughs> just just my madness. I make friends easily. Um, I don't necessarily... Yeah, I, I, think, I think that could be a, a, a thing for me. Sure. <laughs> it, it's mine as well. It's a, it's a good mindset to have. And um, why not? I can open up, I can just uh, crack some jokes. But I may not feel... Uh, I'm not one of those people who are just, uh, like, when, when they see the fucking postman, they just rush out and uh, you know, tackle them and start humping their leg and like, Oh my god, my best friend forever! I'm like, okay, cool. I, I may not go out of my way to make uh, friends, but uh, I, I think I can. I tend to vote for liberal political candidates. I don't vote, but I guess I, if, I, if I did vote, then maybe that would be more likely. I love excitement. Why not? I'm indifferent to the feelings of others. Um, I'm not indifferent to it. I might find it irrational. They might have the wrong beliefs. I might call it into question and uh, think that they should calm down. But I'm not indifferent to it. I do a lot of do a lot in my spare time. Yeah, that's basically what I do. <laughs> so yeah. I mean, for me, like, yeah, I'm sure. I don't want to 
Uh, really toot my own horn, but... Sure. Some people just really waste time by my... Uh, by my... Uh, analysis. I, let's go with that. Because, like, I once hang out with a person who was like, Oh, I'm busy all the time. I'm like, okay, like, what do you do? It was like, spend like four, uh, like three hours shopping for a cabbage. And like, then watching TV the entire afternoon. Like, I I'm not judging. I'm just... I'm just saying, like, oh, like, um, okay, yeah, I, I guess you're busy. Uh, I need to, I need a push to get started. I think I'm, I'm the one who's doing the pushing. So, I, I usually just uh, think about things until I really want to do them. So, um, push by what? I, that that means external force. So I don't like that. I'm the one doing the pushing. I'm very of others. Um, not really. Mostly understand that, uh, well, people can be self-serving, but uh, kindness is pretty critical to uh, the continuation of mankind. I'm attached to conventional ways. No. Uh, conventional ways do nothing for me. I kind of reject all tradition or just do things because they've been... <laughs> because uh, that's how we've done before. I've done it before. Uh... <laughs> So, I just do things that make sense. Strongly disagree. I do not like concerts. Uh, that is strongly agree. I, well, I went to concerts before, but... Uh, uh, yeah. I, mainly they're loud and... Uh, I mean, I, I just wish I was home. Uh, maybe um, <laughs> listening to the same music and reading a book. God damn it. Well, way to make me sound myself... Uh, like a loser. Strongly agree. Adapt easily to new situations. Um, might as well have a... That's a healthy mindset to have. I kind of like to adapt myself. I, the thing is, I like to uh, just uh, deal with the, the challenges that come up. So, sure. I have little to say. I kind of... <laughs> this seems arrogant. God damn it. I think I have a lot to say. I remain calm under pressure. Um, yeah, I mean, the thing is, uh, getting uh, emotional under pressure just doesn't really help you. <laughs> Maybe that, that's just my uh, my life experience. That I, my well, the thing is, uh, it's gonna be probably pretty obvious after this. But I did a big fight before uh, in my life, and uh, my neuroticism is pretty low because worrying doesn't help you to to help <laughs> to to do the things that you're worrying about. It's like, oh shit, it's like, uh, yeah, I should be just uh, putting in my effort in uh, just uh, avoiding the bad outcomes instead of worrying about them. I enjoy examining myself and my life. No. I disagree with that. I'm introspective, but I don't go back and like look at all my memories or like, oh, my special babies. Like, oh, that's who I am. No. I'm introspective. Examining myself and my life. Maybe a little agree. I'm introspective. Maybe just a bad question. I believe in human goodness. I do believe in human goodness. I anticipate the needs of others. Um, actually, I kind of prefer it to be spelled out. Because at that point, I'm just making assumptions. Uh, based on my own perception. Uh, which can be flawed. So... I don't know. And I, I, I can anticipate the needs of others, but I try not to. I see quiet. Um, generally, yes. I easily resist temptations. Hmm, not necessarily. But yeah, I, I guess. Most temptations I do easily resist. I'm not interested in theoretical discussions. No, I, I'm on board with that. I get upset easily. No, I don't. I'm sure of my ground. Um... Uh, So that apparently means firmly believe to be right or know something. Uh, well, I, I kind of suspected it, but I wasn't 100%. Um, no, I like to question what I know, so disagree. I choose my words with care. Now, this is not an insecurity. Uh, <laughs> but I'm, I'm not insecure about it, I guess. I'm Many times I'm pretty sure of what I know, but I do like to question it. So... Uh, 
I don't know. Do I believe you that? Fuck, I don't know. This is this is uh tricky. I, I'm I'm pretty confident in most things I know. I choose my words with care. Oh yeah. <laughs> Especially if I <laughs> I know. <laughs> The, the, uh, this uh, video doesn't really uh, demonstrate it. I turn my back on others. I, I don't like to. I sympathize with ho the homeless. Uh, but I try not to think about them. <laughs> I involve others in what I'm doing. I prefer to. Uh, if they want to be involved in it. But I try not to um, take advantage of them either. So, yes. I see beauty in things that others might not notice. Also, they need to be a good fit. So if they just don't give a shit about what I'm doing, then uh, that it's not gonna work. But if if I if I can include you, then uh, you're probably getting included. I see beauty in things that others might not notice. Uh, I, I get, get maybe I don't know. What is this question? I don't know. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Guess feel neutral about this. I would never cheat on my taxes. <laughs> Fuck that. <laughs> Fucking liars. Strongly disagree. St <laughs> I would. Uh, I make people feel welcome. <laughs> it's like, hmm. <laughs> I make people feel welcome. Uh, I don't know. Do I? I may not care. I may be in my head, and I, I, I don't care to do that. But yes, I guess I fear the worst. Uh, nope. I just uh, do things so the worst doesn't happen, or don't really imagine those possibilities. I leave a mess in my room. Um, and my room is reasonably organized. I put a little time and effort into my work. Uh, pff, nope. I value cooperation over competition. That is true. I'm not easily amused. It does seem like... This is hard to say, because if I look at Reddit, it seems like all the jokes are fucking brain dead. But, um, I think I'm easy to amuse. So... Well, yeah. I'm, I'm excitable. I enjoy being part of a group. Uh, I can enjoy being part of a group. Very much so. But being part of the wrong group is not very enjoyable. Uh, so, agree? I avoid difficult reading material. Uh, no, actually, I cherish it. Uh, you can learn new words, you can learn new concepts, you can uh, refine your thinking. It's great. Uh, strongly disagree. I turn plans into actions? Uh, sure. Uh, I'm not really interested in others. No, I actually love others. Uh, this is just so weird. I, I love understanding things. And uh, people are the, the trickiest to understand, so... Uh, yeah, strongly disagree. I'm interested in understanding people. I really like to take it easy. <laughs> yeah, fuck yeah. I think most people just overcomplicate their lives. We want to keep it as simple as possible. I like to take my time. Yeah, sure. Like, the things should take as long as they take. Like, just because you're like, oh yeah, I'll do this in one hour. Like, um, bro, it might just take 10 minutes or it might take, it might take five hours, you know? Like, you know, just take a long as it takes. I take advantage of others. Uh, that makes me uncomfortable. I would not consider it. I love my way through life. Sure. <laughs> I guess the argument can be made that it can be uh, a level of coping, but no, they're just, they're just having fun. The thing is, once you realize it, that uh, it makes sense to, not, uh, to never not be happy. It's like, oh fuck, what am I doing? Might as well be happy, right? So, you're not waiting for uh, stuff to, to be happy, <laughs> to, so you can be happy after that. I'll be happy after X. Like, then you're not gonna be happy, because then you're gonna have another thing uh, you're gonna wait for. It's like, oh yeah, I'm just gonna be happy as I can in the moment. And uh, there is a good book. Um, which one is that? Oh, give me a sec. Yeah, this is the one. Happy the Happiness Advantage. Uh, if you want to get shit done, the best way you can do it is to be happy. And it makes no sense to not be happy. I gave it five stars. It's a good book. <laughs> Alright, what else we have? 
Ah, uh, sure. Let's strongly agree. I rarely complain. Uh, complaining just really hurts you. So, strongly agree. I'm not easily annoyed. Uh, strongly agree. I stick to my chosen path. Uh, yes, but I changed my path. So, let's go with agree. I love large parties. Ah, depends on the party. I mean, the thing is, you can have like a big party, like with 20 people, and it's still a sensible one. But but you can have like a smaller party that's still stupid as fuck. So it's like, uh, I, it's not really what I do. So <laughs> I don't really do large parties. I never organized a large party in my life. <laughs> so I was just part of those. And they, they can be enjoyable. But it's not something I would ever organize. So do I love them? Um, I can enjoy them. Ah, uh, fuck me. <laughs> That's so bad. Um, it, it can be enjoyable, but they can also be super fucking dumb. So let, let's go with agree. I only feel comfortable with friends. No, I can feel comfortable with strangers. But uh, obviously, uh, it's not, not quite the same. I jump into things without thinking. Uh, no, I, I like thinking. <laughs> I jump into thinking. Uh, but thinking it first. Uh, thinking about it first, then thinking about thinking. So, uh, uh, disagree. I mean, I might proceed very freely and uh, just get into it and then like keep thinking about it, just keep thinking about it. So, I, I might not experience the hesitation. I might just get started with something. So, and and, uh, and uh, solve the problems as 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 they come up. But uh, disagree. I think. I think I can I can jump into things. And but I, I would consider at very least I would consider if it's worth jumping into, right? So disagree. I can talk others into doing things. Um, yes, I guess. But my my reasoning is always like this makes sense, right? Like, but you decide if this is right for you. So yeah, I, I guess I take charge. I try not to. I I try not to boss people around. So. I take charge of my life, but I try not to take charge of your life. I love action. Um, I don't know. Do I love action? I mean, I can enjoy action. Um, sure. I make people feel uncomfortable. Oh my god! God damn it. Is this a personal attack? Call you calling me weird? I don't know. I mean, if I make people feel uncomfortable uh, <laughs> intentionally, I guess. Fuck me. But, uh, I don't know. I, I try not to. Like, is this intentional? I, I never make people feel uncomfortable unintentionally. Although, I might make people uh, feel uncomfortable because I, 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 I might bring up topics that they are not comfortable with. But, generally, this is not, uh, not ever something I want to do. I distrust people? Um, no. I have difficulty imagining things. No, I can imagine things. I look down on others. Oh no, strongly disagree. I do not like art. Um, disagree. I, mean, I like art. I enjoy being reckless. Oh, I don't. I, that's just that's just that's just your ego. I I don't like taking unnecessary risks. But I'm a creature of habit. Uh, my habits are pretty flexible, so not necessarily. Hmm. This is hard to say. Am I a creature of habit? I do do have some consistent habits, I, I guess, but like I'm not really uh, a creature of habit, really. If anything, I I, I could be um, could use a little more routine. So I think that's a disagree there. I try to follow the rules. Uh, no, I, I ignore the rules, and. Uh, and I uh, hope that I just uh, don't break, don't 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 get locked up by the popo. I believe laws should be strictly enforced. I uh, strongly disagree there. I'm not easily affected by my emotions. Hmm. I like to control my emotions. I think that's an agree. I do not enjoy watching dance performances. Yes, but the why is really important. It's not because I don't like uh, like artist stuff, but it would be really understimulating, so it would be boring as fuck. So strongly agree. 
I like a uh, leisurely lifestyle. Sure. I mean, I like to take it easy. I don't see the consequences of things. Um, I like to think about things. So, yes, I usually see some consequences. So, yeah. I actually disagree, right? <laughs> I mean, are you just calling me, me dumb? Epeep, 300? Is this a personal attack again? So, uh, let's go strongly disagree. I like to get lost in thought. Um... I would say yes, but also you can get really lost in thought. Like, you know, at times I, I was just doing some morning uh, workout. And what I realized is that uh, I was standing, uh, well, in the room and uh, for like, for like six hours. And I, I got completely lost in thought. I, I stood there in the room six hours. I didn't realize uh, time was passing. So I can get really fucking lost in thought. So, yeah, I mean, obviously, at that time, I didn't have anything urgent coming up, but like, god damn it. <laughs> but do I like that? Uh, I don't know. I, I guess, guess I do. But that, that's the most extreme thing I, I can think about. I mean, the, the closest I, I get these days is uh, doing a shower and like, oh, yeah, let's just have a, like a five minute shower. Easy peasy. And like, and I take a one hour shower is like, oh, fuck. <sighs> I'm relaxed most of the time. Sure. I act wild and crazy. Um, well, I, I could act wild as crazy as, as like a joke, but uh, that's not really a thing, usually. It can be also annoying. I react slowly. Um, I would say deliberately, usually agree. I prefer variety to routine. Yeah, that's, that's about me. I, I really like variety. Like, routine, routine just makes you a zombie oftentimes. It's like, oh, I just do the same thing. You can't really learn uh, new things by doing the same things. So uh, that's why you need variety. And when when uh, and those who do routine, uh, those who are like live by routine, are usually just afraid of the new because like, oh, I'm not used to that. They're just playing it safe in life. And like, I, but if you do like hundred things, but if you do do a different thing every day, then you're gonna be the guy who's like, fuck it, I can deal with anything. Just bring it on. It's like I'm not afraid of damn thing. But th the problem is that. Uh, maybe the routine guy is going to be uh, <laughs> like, I just say like seven out of 10 days, they're going to have a better plan than you. And you're just better at uh, dealing with uh, random stuff. Because if you just uh, do things randomly, then uh, you're probably going to do it worse than uh, like just following a decent plan. So uh, there's going to be a balance here. But yeah, I mean, <laughs> uh, let's go with the uh, strong degree. I believe that we coddle criminals too much. <sighs> I don't really know. I don't think we are coddling them. They seem to have a pretty... Uh, they just, we just lock them up and try to forget about them. It doesn't seem too, like too much coddling. Um, so let's go neutral. I'm always on the go. Uh, sure. I, I could chill. But I'm, I'm usually... I usually have a... A high, uh, I, I, I lo love stimulation, and people will just, uh, when I, when I just watch uh, videos, I usually like watch them on triple speed and I just try to do things fast. I always try to do, learn, learn things, so uh, trying to learn things and doing things, so it's like, oh, yeah, well, let's go. I would never go uh, hang gliding or bungee jumping, I would, I think that's true. That, that's true. I, I would not do that because that just seems like an unnecessary risk for something that I would not even care about. Uh, I like order. I do like some order, but uh, sure, let's go with that. I feel others' emotions. Um, yeah, but the thing is, uh, I, I, I can, I can uh, be somewhat resistant to it. So I guess that's true. I, I trust what people say. I yes, I, I guess. But you have to consider, why are they saying that? I, are they saying it from values, from, from the logic? Like, you, you have to... I mean, I, I trust that they possibly believe what they are saying, and they are saying that to me truthfully, but I, I, I do question why they are saying it. So, agree. I, I readily overcome setbacks. Um, sure. 
So it backs up he backs, right? I often make last minute plans. Um, <laughs> uh, I guess. No, I was planning that to make this video for like uh, months. Months, right. Months, months, months. I'm interested in many things. Yes. We're getting uh, closer to the end. I enjoy wild fights of fantasy. Uh, flights of fantasy. Uh, I guess I do. I believe that people are essentially evil. Uh, that That's just stupid to uh, believe. I let things proceed at their own pace. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm the pacemaker here. <laughs> I, I always try to think, uh, do things as uh, faster and better. So... I like to stand during the national anthem. <laughs> God, <laughs> strongly disagree. I'm super against traditions, and um, I guess I'm not a huge fan of nationalism either. I, I just don't don't care about any of that. It's like, oh, does it make sense? I think that all will be well. Ah, uh, I don't think all will be well necessarily, but I don't think that. The opposite of that. So if I have to uh, choose either, then I would go with agree. Like it, the thing is, if you're putting in the effort, then it's more likely than not that things turn out uh, good than not. <laughs> so <laughs> I become overwhelmed by events. But if you're not putting in the effort, <laughs> then it's gonna be a total shit show. <laughs> I become overwhelmed by events. Um, no. Sometimes it just... There's really nothing to do. Like, my example about watching the news is like, okay, whatever. Things gonna happen. Uh, so, why do I need to listen to it? I listen to my conscience. Um, I guess. I mean, the only, only your morals count, but I don't wanna talk about uh, moral relativism and moral realism here. I boast about my virtues. No, that's just super prideful and arrogant. I don't really consider my virtues and my morality and my values to be superior to anyone else's. It's just, it is just mine, right? So I don't boast about them. I mean, I, I take pride in them for myself, but I don't boast about them. Wait a second. Yeah, this is, this is just sharing it with the others. So no, I don't boast about my virtues. I misrepresent the facts. <laughs> oh, fuck me. <laughs> No, 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 no. That's not my jam. I enjoy... I would do it as a joke. I enjoy the beauty of nature. I'm sure. I mean, nature is, is woefully understimulating, but I agree with that. I completely... I complete tasks su successfully. Uh, usually, yes. I'm concerned, but also I don't really care if I don't uh, complete them successfully. I'm concerned about others. Oh, I don't worry about others, but I, I'm concerned about them, I guess. I react quickly. Um, uh, do I react quickly? I don't fucking know. It's like, <laughs> compared to who? But I got other people? Uh, I don't know. The thing is, people tend to be, uh, tend to have the mindset like, oh shit, do something right away. And I'm like, <laughs> but they, I don't know. I can't generalize. Ah, fuck me. I would need to generalize people. I don't like that. A lot of people just get so caught up in, in like, oh shit, ha something happened and I'm already fixing it. But some people just uh, proceed without thinking about it. So I, I guess uh, I'm, I'm between them. I, I'm, I'm the guy who takes time to think, then does it. And a lot of people who just like, just panicking, doing jack shit. And there are people who just goes, go and go in without thinking. So I think I act reasonably quickly. Fuck me. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. I, I, I just go with that. I believe that I'm better. It's partly because, like, you know, time, time is important. I believe that I'm better than others. No, I strongly disagree with that, which doesn't mean that I'm, I'm worse than others, but, like, I, I don't see the point in that. I don't see the point in comparison. I don't... But the thing is, like, if I measure people up to how good they are at being me, <laughs> that, that makes no fucking sense. I suppose there are some people who I can just say, oh yeah, Elon Musk is such a smart guy, big brain. It's like, oh yeah, 
Like, but I don't really see see that either. It's like, okay, cool. Like, no one is better at being me than myself. Like, and other people are doing cool shit too. They have different virtues. That's okay. I often feel blue. Uh, disagree. Uh, I'm willing to try anything once. Uh, no. All things uh, seem uh, dumb to try. I do not have a good imagination. Uh, let's go disagree with that. I'm very pleased with myself. <sighs> that seems prideful. Arrogant. Ugh, I'm not very pleased with myself. I feel neutral about this. I'm calm even in tense situations. Sure. I mean, but you would need to tell me what is a what a tense situation is. <laughs> because I wouldn't know. <laughs> it's like, I, I wouldn't know because I'm, I'm just, I'm the kind of guy like, I just do things, do things, do things, do things. And others are like, oh shit, panic, panic. It's like, wait, is this a tense situation? Okay. I try to understand myself. Hmm. I guess? Hmm. It is a very simplistic question. So I, I think that's true. Like, I, I do value introspection. So, yeah. I get angry very easily? No, I don't. But if I get angry, then you're probably getting murdered. I panic easily. Which kind of happened, uh, like, two times, two, two, three times in my life. Uh, no, I, I didn't murder people, but uh, that's kind of uh, where you kind of get to the point. I panic easily. Uh, no. I do not like the idea of change. No, I love the idea of change. Life is change. If you're like, you're like sailing uh, ahead and you can't really, like, we are all traveling in time into the future. And life is change. If you're just trying to anchor down, it's not going to work. You gotta be the ship and let loose of all the anchors. So wait, wait, wait. I, I no, strongly disagree. I make rash decisions. Uh, strongly disagree. I rarely notice my emotional reactions. Um, no, I, I I'm introspective and uh, kind of mindful of uh, my emotional reactions. I, I try to control my emotions to uh, some degree. So. Strongly disagree. I contradict others. Oh, yeah, fuck yeah. If they are irrational. Well, I'm just gonna serve them a humble pie of logic. I believe that we should uh, be taught. Tough on crime. Uh, I think we should just uh, prevent crime as much as possible. But I don't know. I, what does being tough on crime means? Uh, like, do we punish the people more? I mean, that's really not gonna do much. Because they just ended up being people who uh, only saw crime as a as their best option. Who saw crime as their best option and and uh, fuck. And punishing them further and then letting them go, they just makes them usually a bigger criminal. So that's just not good. <laughs> so I would say I disagree with that. I'm comfortable in unfamiliar situations. Yeah, that's uh, basically my entire. Uh, life experience. I have a rich vocabulary. Uh, yes, but you wouldn't necessarily uh, know that if uh, you're just listening to me uh, improvising in these videos. <laughs> At least I like to think so. I I've met people who are just su such a rich vocabulary that you can't even listen to them. <laughs> I'm googling what they're saying. Just uh, constantly uh, just uh, searching for the words they're using. But I also like to just uh, Try to keep my message and uh, my communication as simple as possible, just to get my message across. So, uh, compared to some people I know, I don't have a rich vocabulary, but I, I think I have a reasonable vocabulary. I'm not easily bothered by things. Fuck me. Uh, no, I'm, I'm not. Like, is this is it about being upset? No, I'm not easily bothered by things, so yes, that is strongly agree. I cheer people up? Oh yeah, I love that. I believe in a uh, one-two religion. <laughs> it's like, I'm being stupid. No, I, I don't believe in that. I rush into things. I, I'm not much of a rusher. I like to tidy up. Um, like to? I mean, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Do I like to tidy up? Hmm, a little bit. I like disagree. I mean, this is, this is close. I feel almost neutral about it. No, this is not neutral. It's got to be one or the other. I like to tidy up a little bit. I mean, the thing is, you have to 
I have the mindset that, you know, no one else is going to do it. So, I'm like, do you want to leave it like that? It's like, oh, you know, like, if it bothers you, then you should do something about it. And with that, there is no absolute right or wrong. Um, yeah, I think so. But this is kind of a, a more relativist uh, viewpoint on it. <clears throat> I saw them get mad. Uh, yep. I get chores done right away. I don't know, man. I don't know. Um, <laughs> like all the time. Uh, I don't know. I feel neutral about this. The answer is looking on the disagree pile, <laughs> looking to be uh at the bottom. Um, I don't know. Get chores done right away. Fuck me. It depends. It, de it really, really, really depends. But if I'm committed to doing them, I would just do them. Like, maybe not right away, but like, in a reasonable order. F fuck. Oh, man. Let let's go with that. But, I I might just go into a strongly disagree times. <laughs> uh, the um, option uh, at times. Ah, uh, let's go with agree. I don't know. Is it disagree or agree? Fuck. I don't know. I think yes. Having the mindset that you get chores done right away as agree is helpful. So just by having this mindset, you will get chores done. By rather than seeing yourself as someone who doesn't get the chores done. So I see myself as a person who gets the chores done, yet I don't always get the chores done. <laughs> so... <laughs> But I still see myself as a person who gets the chores done. I seldom daydream. Um, I don't know. I usually not daydream. I'm, I'm way too stimulated to daydream, usually. I trust others. Well, you have to define trust. Trusting what? Do I trust in their intentions to be usually good people? But they can be also self-interested. And But I do seriously question their competence. <laughs> and my competence. I don't question my intention, and I don't usually question that much the intention of others, but I do question their competence and what they're saying. Because you gotta be very careful of the guy who's expert in everything. I'm not easily intimidated. Uh, I guess that is true. Uh, it's not really helps. Doesn't really help to intimidate it. I'm not able to control my cravings. Uh, that, that's a little harder to say, but... Uh, yeah, I'm able to control my cravings. Okay. Mm, for the most part, pretty much, yes. I mean, I'm currently kind of following a, a vegan diet, and uh, it kind of turned into a, a lacto-vegetarian, and occasionally maybe I, I eat some uh, fish too uh, diet. But it is pretty close. It is pretty close. And I don't, don't eat any sugar, so it's like, oh yeah, I mean... And that, that's kind of the, how I see myself, as like, I see like, oh man, I'm not like 100% vegan. By the way, I, I just chose that, uh, because it seems like a healthy diet. But, I mean, I get, I get pretty close. I seek adventure? Um, sure, I mean, it can be exciting. I mean, you gotta define adventure here. <laughs> I don't know, but I, I mean, I, I like to be excited, I, I guess. I take no time for others. I can take that for others. I want everything to be just right. Uh, what is right? Uh, no, I I'm, I'm, can be flexible, so not necessarily the case. I'm often down in the dumps. Uh, that's disagree. I excel in what I do. Okay, yeah, that, that's an excellent mindset to have. And you excel in what I do and what you do, not because... Not because you think so, not like some kind of a, uh, what is that, uh, dumbass uh, ideology. Ah, uh, fuck. Oh yeah, I remembered. Law of attraction. Not because you believe in like, you know, your dreams will come to you or, um, I don't know, someone's gonna show up with like a truck full of money to your house. But just because you believe that you can do things, like, oh yeah, I believe I can do this thing, then you do the thing. And like, it's probably going to have a, a good result, a good outcome. And if not, you can at least say at the end that, 
Oh shit, I've really done everything. But if you're holding back, you can say like, I could have done it, baby. I could have done it. I was just holding back. I, I could have like aced this big time, but I was holding back. At which point you're just egoist at the wheel. It's like, you're just prideful. <laughs> it's like, oh man, I could do this thing, but you know, I'm holding back. You're just living off on the dream instead of giving it a proper shot. And excel at what I do? Sure. Why not? Sometimes I don't take the time to excel at it, but okay, sure. Why not? I think that's a good mindset. I mean, this is kind of checking my mindset. I get overwhelmed by emotions. Um, no, I can get over, can get overwhelmed by uh, emotions, but uh, that's almost never happens. Like, um, really, like, I could look back years and like, when was I overwhelmed by emotions? Uh, not one time. So strongly disagree. I believe in an eye. For an eye, uh, no. Eye for an eye makes the world blind, right? <laughs> I don't really believe in that. I dislike myself? Mm, nope. I mean, that disliking yourself doesn't help you, so might as well like yourself. Although that seems a little, uh, uh, almost nonsensical to me. It's like, how do you like yourself? You kind of like yourself by almost like, Thinking in a way that, you know, like you can uh, think about the world like in an altruistic way that, you know, I just help people. And uh, for a lot of people, like helping people, uh, helping others can be um, um, simpler. But uh, utilitarian uh, point of view that, like, you know, I shouldn't be discriminating against myself. I help others and I help myself, you know, and helping. And uh, by being awesome, I can help others more. So I don't know. It's like disliking yourself doesn't help you. So might as well just uh, like yourself. Even if it's just not like full on liking yourself, I'm not really sure how would you like yourself, but like, oh, I just I just like myself by not screwing myself over. Because you might do things to yourself that you would never ever consider to doing doing to other people. Because, you know, I'm like, okay, cool, I can fuck this guy over, but everyone else is like they are special. But of course, other other people are just uh like find it easy to easier to care about themselves. But uh, there are people who uh that that might screw themselves over like i have a history of doing but i don't really dislike myself oh wait i don't i dislike myself that's gotta be a uh, strong disagree usually i break my promises i could break promises if they no longer make sense but i try not to make promises that i end up breaking so thing is i just don't make promises unless i really uh uh intend on keeping them and if you force me to make a promise i will probably not make a promise <laughs> because i fucking hate that shit like just make a promise for me man uh nope i break my promises uh disagree i come up with good solutions fuck yeah <laughs> my solutions are the best i love surprise parties no <laughs> fuck no <laughs> parties is surprised no if you if there's a good party i think the anticipation can it uh, can make it better but uh, usually, I'm not much of a party person, so uh, let, I, I'm, I would probably I might enjoy a surprise party, but like, I, nah, no, 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 no. But like, surprise! No, I, I don't understand people who get emotional. I mean, I understand them, but I might think that they are irrational. Uh, disagree. I pay my bills on time. Um, sure. I leave my belongings. In uh, around uh no i like to i uh, just put them in a proper place uh disagree i mean i'm not the kind of person who color codes uh all their uh fucking forks uh but uh strongly disagree i spend my time reflecting on things sure um although you have to uh balance this out because if you're just reflecting all the time then you're doing nothing so oh but still that's true i warm up quickly to others sure I cheat to get ahead? Uh, I don't know. That kind of depends on who's getting hurt by this cheating. I mean, I, I wouldn't cheat to screw over others, but if like, I, if I cheat, like, cheat the law, that makes no sense. I guess I would consider that. But no, this is uh, probably a strong disagree here. I suffer from others' sorrows. I try not to. Um... 
disagree because at this point I can resist it uh, more. But I'm definitely not immune. I often forget to put things back in their proper place. Um, no, I usually make an effort to put them into their proper place. I'll tell the truth. Yeah. If you don't tell the truth, if you're not being true yourself, then people can't even like you and you just lose your uh, way to... You're, you're also lying to yourself all the time. So it's just it's completely insane. And uh, you drive yourself uh, mad by not having proper feedback. I get irritated easily, strongly disagree, I get caught up in my problems. <laughs> Fuck me! Uh, no, not so much, disagree. Um, I'm not bothered by disorder. I'm a little bothered by disorder. So, agree? Wait, wait, wait. Okay, disagree. I'm often in a bad mood. What? I, I swear, like, half of these questions are about whether I'm a sad boy. I feel that I'm unable to deal with things. Um, no, I can deal with things. I don't like to draw attention to myself. Um, I don't like to necessarily do that because I, I did, uh, state that I'm more of a listener, I suppose. It's not like, oh shit, listen to me, uh, explaining my life or just uh, telling about my day in real time, baby. Real time. No, 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 no. It's like, oh yeah, no, no, no. I, I would prefer to listen in a one-on-one. -on -one. Um, but I don't mind drawing attention to myself, so maybe strongly disagree. I lose my temper? No. I hold back my opinions? Um, uh, generally no. Disagree. Unless I know that people are gonna be hurt by my opinions, at that, which point I would consider it, but, uh, that, that is not uh, ideal. Because at that point I'm kind of sacrificing honesty. I get to work at once? Um, uh, not necessarily. Don't like crowded events? Generally, yes. I avoid contract with others. Uh, contact. Uh, I need a break. Okay, do I avoid contact with others? I might. I might. Because I might not go out of my way to, uh, as I said, uh, to hump the postman. I don't really avoid contact with others. I guess this is about avoiding contact. I don't avoid contact, but I might not seek it out, necessarily, so let's go disagree. I'm always busy. Um, no, if you're always busy, you're probably just wasting time. So disagree. I miss just situations. <laughs> um, I try not to uh, pass judgment on situations, so I, I think that's strongly disagree. If you're observing and trying to learn, and then you're probably gonna see the situations for what they are. I have a good word for everyone. Sure. I go on binges. Ah, uh, I guess I can go on binges. Hmm. Not usually though. Like, what is the binge? Uh, playing games for two hours. That's a binge. <laughs> it's like watching multiple episodes. Is that a binge? I mean, I, I did watch like a uh, like whole season worth of a show, like in the past, uh, a couple times. I guess that's a binge. But generally, I don't go on binges, so disagree. I don't understand things. <laughs> uh, I like to think that I do, so strongly disagree. I never spend more than I can afford. Uh, yeah, I'm sure. I'm not highly motivated to succeed. I mean, not to succeed, but uh, some level of fulfillment, some some kind of purpose of your definition. So maybe strong, uh, strongly disagree because success is usually defined by by what others think is successful. It's like <laughs> it's like just doing what you want is success. If you realize that, then yeah, sure. Strongly agree. Uh, strongly disagree. I'm not a I have a high opinion of myself. Sure, I, I guess, might as well have a high opinion of yourself. I mean, but it's not comparison to others, just like, hey, I'm awesome, let's go. I love flowers. Pfft, I feel neutral about flowers. I mean, I, I guess I would, I prefer them, I guess, over not having flowers, maybe. Uh, do I love flowers? I don't know. 
Don't give me flowers. I mean, love is a very strong word for flowers here. Uh, I don't know. I, I don't feel like I love flowers, but I mean, flowers can be nice, I guess. I don't hate flowers, that's for sure. I almost don't. I mean, my my feelings about flowers is not neutral. Let's let's go with a grief. Fuck me. I know how to cope. Uh, sure. I keep in the background. Uh, not necessarily. I seldom feel blue. Sure. I mean, these questions are fairly uh, like repeating quite a bit at this point, but we are almost at the end. I like to visit new places. Actually, I don't as much because many times the place is just the same. Places can be very similar. Maybe that's uh, just my limited uh, <laughs> experience about them. But uh, also, I'm not as outgoing necessarily, so. Maybe I don't take as much advantage, so uh, disagree. I mean, it could be cool to go somewhere else, but um, maybe I don't take too much advantage of it. I've talked to a lot of people at parties. Uh, what parties? <laughs> uh, sure, I guess. I mean, I, I know people who just don't talk to anyone or maybe talk to one person. Like I'm like, oh yeah, let's go. As long as they're interesting, right? I tend to vote for conservative uh, political candidates. I don't vote. Strongly disagree. Avoid crowds. I don't necessarily avoid crowds, but like, uh, yeah. I mean, I don't actively seek out crowds. I think crowds can be really dumb because now you have like a, sh a shit ton of people in the same place. You can't have a meaningful interaction with any of them. And uh, that's not the best. I mean, if we are talking about live crowds, right? I consider myself an average person. Um, who's an average person? No one is an average person. Let's, let's go strongly disagree. I have little to contribute. Everyone has a lot to contribute. You're awesome in your own way. Uh, strongly disagree. I'm always prepared. And this is not like a feel-good crap. I'm always prepared. Um, I prefer to be capable rather than prepared. So. I don't know if I'm always prepared. I don't know. I'm not easily disturbed by events. Uh, strongly agree. But I also I make sure to not uh, go out and uh, look for events that could possibly disturb me. <sighs> I like to act on a whim. I, I do like that. <laughs> I do like that. But I don't need to like plan ahead. Like, yeah. Let's go with this. Agree? I do like to act. I don't know. Fuck. No, I, I probably think about it. This is hard to say. Let's, let's just go with agree. I know how to get things done. Fuck yeah. I like to... St I stick to the rules. No, I, I break the rules. I think rules are stupid. Strongly disagree. Alright! Show me! I'm the uh, ultimate being! Let's go! Is this what I got? Uh, sure. <coughs> Extroversion. Uh, humps the postman. Agreeableness. Uh, apparently too high. Conscientiousness. 81 percentile. Openness. 83rd percentile. Neuroticism is super low. Okay, let's, let's see what we got here. Activity. You prefer about average levels of activity, such as being on the go and staying busy? Sure, I, I guess. Assertiveness. <laughs> there are extremely high chances that you'll take charge and lead others. But I don't like to boss people around, right? You experience very high levels of happiness, joy, and other positive emotions. Sure. I mean, might as well be happy, right? You like to seek extremely low levels of thrills. <laughs> I mean, I just find needless... Like, I can be happy without seek, seeking danger, right? You're extremely high. In your desire to be around other people and show an interest in their lives, I'm, blah, blah, blah. I mean, maybe not maybe not the small talk aspect, but uh, people can be interesting. And this is just so so bad because I think is for a long time I've like considered myself somewhat of a, like introvert. It's like, but I do love people in well at least at least the right people, I guess. 
you're high in flocking toward other people and being talkative and sociable around them. It, yeah, I mean, it's like, oh yeah, let's just stream to hundreds of people or show up at a party, I guess, maybe. I don't know, but I usually uh, don't do that. But I guess um, I can't really say that I, I completely hate crowds. Agreeableness. You are extremely high in agreeableness. Highly agreeable people tend to do whatever it takes to have positive reactions with other people. The six facets of agreeableness are... Yeah, I, I, that really uh, annoys me. That, that, that means I can really lose myself with other people. Like, someone just uh, has like a, an emotional breakdown and starts crying and like, Oh shit! All my logic is stupid! Oh, your feelings, please! Let's just talk about that. And you might just com compromise your own personality. It's like, oh shit, what is my personality? Oh yeah, whatever makes you happy. Uh, that's not good. Altruism. You're extremely high in, your, uh, in generally wanting to be good for other people, including helping them uh, when they need it, sure. But I like to help my own way, I guess. I was like, I'm like the, hey, let, let's just help with ideas, I guess. I'm not necessarily like the kind of person who would uh, help in a soup kitchen, but I would be the guy who's just... Uh, like well, maybe like research some books and like just provide some good information. Uh, there are extremely high chances that you will try to get along with other people. Sure, modesty. <laughs> ah, shit. <laughs> you have low levels of modesty. Modest people don't like to brag or show off because those types of behaviors can be harmful to relationships. Ah. Apparently, I'm be modest. What? No. I was not bragging, I just said that I'm... No, the, the test was asking what I think about myself, but not in relation to other people. I'm not saying that other people suck and I'm, I'm the fucking god. Can I just have a high opinion of myself without having a low opinion of others? Well, I suppose the, the concept of having a high opinion of yourself is a bit pointless, but I'm just saying, like, might as well have a positive outlook on life. I'm like, okay, cool, I can do things. Sticking to the rules and uh, treating everyone fairly is of high value to you. I don't know. I mean, treating people fairly, uh, treating th uh, sticking to the rules, I don't know. Sympathy? You have very high levels of sympathy for other people, which includes caring about them and wanting what's best for them. Fuck. You're extremely high in believing that other people are generally good and not out to harm you. Yes. But I question their competence. You're very high in conscientiousness. Highly conscientious people are diligent, hardworking, and responsible. The six facets of conscientiousness are You have high desire to work hard and get ahead. <sighs> I mean, I, I want to do the things that I want to do. Right? That's not necessarily what society thinks that is uh, successful. Odds are about average that you'll just jump into things without uh, really thinking about them. You spend about average amounts of time planning uh, what to do. Okay. I mean, I, I think I might be more cautious than that. You're low in sticking to your word, keeping your promises and upholding your obligations. Fuck. This kind of reminds me of all, all, all those times I promised to stream. <laughs> or do a video or just do other things. Well, at least uh, this is just relation to the channel. Like... Not, not that I didn't want to do it. I think I just forgot about it. <laughs> or like, I felt like doing it in the present, but like, then I forgot about it. Or maybe had a better idea. Or just I didn't have time. But I didn't me mean it at the time. I wouldn't say it if I, I didn't mean it. You prefer very high levels of cleanliness and order in your environment? Sure. You have very high uh, self-discipline, which is the ability to get to work quickly, stay focused, and avoid distractions or procrastination. Okay. When you need to do something, you have extremely high ability to get it done and do it well, or maybe more accurately, you believe that your ability is extremely high. <laughs> ah, shit. <laughs> Fucking exposed. Sometimes I'm proven wrong. Okay, neuroticism. You're extremely low in neuroticism, which means that you experience extremely low levels of negative emotions like anger, fear, and stress. The six facets of neuroticism are... Yeah, th this was like half the questions. Your levels of anger and irritability are extremely low, sure. Compared with other people, you have extremely low levels of stress, fears, and worries about the future. You guys want me to teach you how to have 0% anxiety? You don't think about the future. 
the end. You just plan for the future, but never think about the future. If you ever think about the future, you're fucking up. You bring yourself back in the present, slow down your breathing, and uh, yeah, that's it. Just work toward the future, but don't uh, like, oh my god, shit, it's gonna happen! Like, that's it, that's how you do it. Exactly 0%. Uh, this is not a clinical de uh, depression. The score simply tells you that uh, compared with other people, you feel extremely low amounts of uh, sadness and like yourself to an ex extremely high degree. Uh, okay. Depression is the same thing. You just don't think about the past. Uh, easy. In moderation, you have extremely high self-control. When it comes to uh, resisting temptations, there are extremely low chances that you'll give in to your desire and binge. And shopping, eating, drinking, whatever your vices are. Okay, cool. Note that self-discipline, a facet of conscientiousness, uh, deals with your ability to focus your attention on accomplishing goals. Whereas uh, moderation refers to your ability to resist temptations. I mean, yeah. I mean, I get close. I mean, I guess I fuck up 5% of the time. But I usually get close. But you need to have a target. If you don't have a target, then you're going to fuck up 100% of the time. So, you need to know what you want to do, else you're gonna fuck up, always. But if you know what you want to do, then I guess, the thing is, initially you're gonna fuck up a lot. But as you, as you uh, spend time, you get better at it. So, you can just say that you want to do a habit that uh, you're just really bad at doing right now. You can be bad at doing something good, instead of uh, good at doing something bad. And you just fuck up right now. Like, you can just have a good habit right now. And you can be just 5% there. You can fuck up almost all the time. But you're going to get better at it. Uh, you like to draw extremely high levels of attention to yourself. <laughs> ah, shit. What? No. Please. No. And feel extremely low amounts of unease when interacting with others socially. <laughs> Please. No, 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 no. Uh, look, this is just weird. Like, just, just because I'm making a video about some, some personality test, that doesn't mean I'm drawing attention to myself. Excuse me, this is just completely wrong. All the test is just throw it in the garbage. Vulnerability. Chances that you'll be overwhelmed by difficult circumstances are extremely low. Notice that this is different from anxiety, which uh, refers to general stress and fear proneness and self-efficacy, a facet of conscientiousness that reflects your confidence in your ability to accomplish tasks. Vulnerability specifically refers to your propensity to feel overwhelmed by difficult situations. Okay. Again, just you just bring yourself back into the present and like, oh, cool. It's like, I, I just get to work. Is this the last one? Yeah, openness to experience. You're very high in uh, openness to experience. Openness in a, is a broad, uh, diffuse... Uh, a uh, personality dimension with uh, many seemingly different uh, facets. In general, highly open people uh, like a variety of new experiences, uh, whether physical, emotional, intellectual, or cultural. The six facets of openness are adventurousness. You prefer extremely high amounts of variety and new experiences in your life. You have extremely high openness to new experiences. Cool. Uh, you have a very low love for art, music, and culture. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Emotionality. Your attunement to your and others' emotions is very low, whereas uh, cheerfulness and excitement, uh, seeking uh, facets of uh, extroversion, capture your propensity to feel positive emotions, and neuroticism uh, captures your propensity to feel negative emotions. Emotionality refers to your o overall openness to desire and truly feel emotions. Yeah, I guess that is true, because I like to, I like to keep a cool head, to make decisions, and also I don't necessarily want to be washed over by the emotions of others, and might avoid extreme emotions myself. So, that's, I guess that's it. You have high imagination, and you have high openness to experience essence of the imagination. Your desire to play with ideas, reflect on philosophical concepts, and have deep discussions is extremely high. You have a extremely high openness to intellectual experiences. Sure. What? Liberalism uh, 95 percentile. Didn't the test ask me, like, one uh, political question? <laughs> and I'm like, fuck, man! This guy is 100% liberal! We got him! <clears throat> your political liberalism is extremely high. Uh, conversely, your political converse, uh, 
conservationism. <laughs> Fuck. Help me! Conservatism. Conservatism is extremely low. This is a facet of, op of openness to experience because liberals uh, tend to desire progressive change, uh, whereas conservatives tend to prefer less political change. Oh yeah, I'm definitely a rebel. And that's what we got. Um, sure. I guess I need to be more modest. And, um... I don't know. But that seems okay. I don't know. At which point, I have room for improvement. This, this agreeableness kind of bugs me. Whatever, guys. I guess that's it. Uh... I would love to hear, uh, or just see, uh, your, your tests in the comments. Uh, I think that would be uh, interesting. Or you have uh, any interesting uh, well, points about uh, my, uh, my, my uh, results. Uh, that would be fun to hear as well. Okay, that's it. You guys are awesome, and uh, have a good one.